I'm back. Um, I'm coming to you today because I have had some requests on my curly hair routine. Um, I got these like a long time ago, so I'm sorry. I've been, I always say this when I come on, I'm horrible about posting videos, but I promise you guys, I really have good intentions to get on here and I just, time passes. That's what I always say. And that is actually the honest to God truth. So I'm happy to announce that I have five day hair. This is five day hair and I'm really proud of it. It's kind of frizzy, but I don't even care. I'll turn around so you guys can see kind of how the, you know, the back looks. So this is my five day hair and I achieved this, um, by using a scrunchie and sleeping on a satin pillowcase. Okay, I just cleansed my hair with the um, the hair one for dry hair. It's the one that has the olive oil in it from Sally's, and I, I think it's supposed to be comparable to the wind. And what I do is um, I wet my hair twice a week. I do like a middle week hair wetting cleansing um conditioner with just my um i just use the tresemme naturals to detangle and then when i wet it again towards the end of the week i will actually do a deep conditioner with the plastic cap so i deep condition once a week so all i've done up to this point is um cleansed it with the hair one and i do that like one hair wash like i wet it really good put the cleanser in massage my scalp and then just rinse it out so now I have the Tresemme Naturals about this much. And um, I put a, quite a bit in here for detangling purposes. Um, I like to try to use a lesser expensive conditioner for detangling because I use a lot of it. Um, so just work it all through. And um, then when I start detangling, I just section my hair out into four sections. And I use my tangle teaser. I tried the finger detangling method, but um, I don't know if I have some touch issues or what, but I don't like all the wet hair on my fingers. I don't know, and I like the tangle teasers really. I can do it really fast. And that noise it makes, that's just cause it's plastic. But I start down at the bottom and then I just work my way up to the top like this and um, I've compared this to doing it with the wide tooth comb and this is quicker and I don't lose any more hair from the tangle teaser than I would using the wide tooth comb so that section's already done and then I'll do one more section and then I'm gonna step away and finish up and then I'll be back I'll just start with the ends just keep going up and um, have to keep in mind that this is five day hair so it's gonna be probably five days worth of shed hair in my tangle teaser because I haven't combed through it since my last hair wash which was on last Thursday and today is Tuesday so there that whole side is done now so i'm gonna do the other side okay all done detangling and here's my tangle teaser i'm gonna pull the hair out to show you how much i got it's not that much <laughs> it's less than what i thought so that's how much i got that's um i hadn't detangled in five days so i don't think that's that's not a lot sometimes i get more than that so that's how much i got out today so what I'm going to do next is um, go rinse this out and then I'll be back to show you how I apply my leave-in products. Alright, I'm done um, rinsing out the conditioner and this is just a um, cotton wife beater tank top that I cut down the middle and I use it to just kind of... Um, mash some of the water out of my hair instead of using a towel. I have a microfiber towel, but it is, I can't find it. So I use this 
and I have a couple of these that I've also cut and they work to me just as fine. So the leave-in products that I use, I only use three things. I use first, I use a little bit of jojoba oil. Then I use my pomage of the conditioner, which I love. Um, I've been using this now for ooh, many, many years. And I see some more people on YouTube are starting to use it now. So um, if you don't have a good conditioner leave-in, maybe you, you know, think about giving this a try because I've used it a long time and I really like it. And then this is something recently that I incorporated. I use just a little dab of um, the Eco Styler gel with argan oil. Um, I liked a different brand of gel before this, ISO Plus, but I can't, it's the amber colored one with the blue top, and I can't find it in my area anymore. So I switched to this and it works pretty good. So I just finger, um, kind of finger style my hair and let it kind of fall where the part is. So I like it parted kind of, not right down the middle, but kind of like this. And then um, I also keep a water bottle in case my hair starts to dry because my hair is fine so it does tend to start drying pretty quickly and I need it to be kind of wet when I do this. And then I use, um, well, I have to forget, let me wet it down first and then I'm going to put the whole oil on. Just spray the water and I just take... Um, I don't know if you can see this, probably about three shakes of jojoba oil and just kind of scrunch it into my hair. It's about, yeah, and then I'll do three more shakes. So about six shakes out of this little bottle, like this, about six shakes of jojoba oil. And I just scrunch it in. I don't like to put too much. All right. So I do that and then I take my Paul Mitchell conditioner and like I use quite a bit of this and I just start sectioning it out and smoothing it in. Um, and I have to use a lot. So whenever they have those sales where you can buy a liter, get one free or like the two liters for 32, um, I try to stock up. Because I use this and also my um, my oldest daughter, who's natural. My youngest daughter is text lax, but I... Okay, my memory card cut out. All right, what I was doing is just smoothing the, um, the Paul Mitchell in and making sure that my hair is completely coated and, you know, every piece is covered with the Paul Mitchell. And I'm making sure I get up in my crown area and up here by the roots because those are the areas that will really frizz out if I don't get them good. So now I'm going to do the other side. So this is what this side looks like after I get pretty much as much product as I want. I'll probably put a little bit more in but this is the side that doesn't have any product in it. So I just start with like that much and I grab this whole front section and I just start smoothing it in. And uh, my hair is pretty detangled because I already detangled it really well with the tangle teaser before I started. I'm still getting some shed hair, but not a lot. Okay, so I'm just raking it through. And, um, okay, as I was saying before my memory card cut out, I am doing, um, the transitioning my youngest daughter from being tech slax to being natural. And her last relaxer slash text lax it's basically the same thing it's just you don't leave it on as long her last relaxer text lax was, was on april the first so um look for some videos coming up on her hair journey she's 12 and um we're just starting and i think her transition i'm probably going to transition her um longer than my oldest daughter my yeah, oldest daughter did a year transition and then we did cut her hair um, the final cut because we cut on it the whole year but um i think my youngest daughter was gonna go a little bit longer um uh, with her hair and what's interesting is that we all three have different um hair requirements and needs so um this is really interesting and exciting for me to find out what products work really well in her hair but i will discuss that 
in a future video. So I have um, pretty much got all my hair coated with the Paul Mitchell um, leave-in conditioner. So now I'm going to take my tangle teaser again. No, wrong thing. Wide tooth comb and just kind of go through it just quickly just to make sure that all of the hair is completely detangled and kind of separated. And then last I'm going to um, take my tangle teaser. Once I determine if I have enough conditioner on it, I'm looking over here in the mirror. I'm gonna put just a little bit more on. Like a little bit more through. And um, this seems like a lot, but my hair will soak all of this in and um, have the look I want it to look like. And I don't really like um, a lot of gel on my hair because I like to have, like, I don't mind having a little bit of frizz. And I like my hair to, like, poof up big. And it does better when I don't really put um, a lot of gel and stuff in it. I remember when I tried to use the kinky curly, you guys can go back in my videos if you want to, and my hair looked terrible. Um, I think I may have used too much product, but anyway. So lastly, what I'll do is I'll take my tangle teaser and just go through it, and this will kind of, um, I guess, clump my curls together or something, I'm not sure. But um, that's the last step I do with um, any kind of hair tools, like a comb or anything like that. Just do that, and it just kind of looks like that. Let's see it. And then lastly, um, as far as products go, I'm going to take this Eco Styler, uh, the one with the Argan wool, and take about that much, just a little bit, and um, put it right here on my edges, just right on the edges. It just kind of keeps them flat. I told a story earlier, y'all said that was it with the tools. I just kind of smooth the edges down with the corners of my brush, and then I pull that back forward, because that kind of hangs over that. I'm going to do the same thing on that side. I'm going to smooth it down with my brush. And then I pull that back up like that. And then I take about that much argan oil, rub it together on my hands, and just gently, very gently, smooth it down just on the top part of my hair like that, just on this crown area like that. And then I'll do any little last minute repositioning of my hairs. I'm gonna look over here in the mirror. I'll put a little bit more gel right on this part. Once I finish these little, I'm sorry you guys can't see, I'm trying to look at my mirror. My camera directions are very, very bad. And um, I'm, I'm recording here in my bathroom because the light's better, and when I record on my webcam, on my computer, sometimes you can't see really well because the light um, coming through my big window um, makes everything kind of fuzzy. So there, let's see. I'm going to look in the mirror right quick and see if it's like I want it. Yeah, it's like I want it. So I'm going to leave it like this. I'm not going to touch it, and I'm going to let it air dry. It's almost 6 30 p.m. my time it'll be dry enough by 11 o'clock tonight for me to go ahead and um, pineapple and then I will show you the final results um, in the morning and I'll hi it's the next morning and I'm about to take my hair down as you can see it's in a pineapple and it's all dry so what I do is I just take my scrunchie off just kind of fluff it something catching my hair just kind of fluff it and then um, I don't like these pieces so close to my eyes so I usually pull these back 
and put them in a bobby pin, which I have right here. And I'm gonna grab a little bit of jojoba oil to smooth. I just do one drop and I just rub my hands together till they have a sheen on them and just kind of smooth like that. And I'll just put my, just bobby pin that piece back like that. And I could make it go to the side, but this is just the um, way I like to do it for today. Put that in, and then I just fluff it some more. Just kind of keep fluffing it. Um, it. So, I'll just need to do is just finish my makeup and head out the door. Here's the back. And that's it. And I'll be able to wear it like this for four to five days. And then my next um, hair cleanse, I'll do my deep conditioning treatment with a plastic cap. All right. Thanks for watching. And um, see you guys later. Bye.